this is when the damage uh, had happened to the crankshaft. I can clearly feel grooves all over the crankshaft. So this could happen to the rod or to the main bearings. It will depend of the problem. So when this happens, what do you have to do? Well, you have to take the engine from the truck like this you have to remove the entire engine from the truck there is no other way to work with the crankshaft you can do this in this case i have the engine all apart and the reason why is because i'm going to do an overhaul after i replace the crankshaft but if you want if the damage is not too great, is not too bad, um, you can just replace or remove the engine completely, the entire engine without disassembling anything. The engine gonna be complete with the head and everything and take the entire truck to a machine shop to get the crankshaft repair right there on the place. They do repair it like that too. It's gonna cost less money but it's gonna be a little harder to put everything back together inside but it's gonna be cheaper than do this because right now i'm gonna do the whole overhaul plus the crankshaft this thing is gonna be around twenty five thousand dollars the whole job so it's kind of expensive if you want to save money you have to just remove the engine without taking everything apart just that but knowing that uh, your truck is going to have many miles it is always better to replace the crankshaft and do an overhaul at the same time. Anyway, you want to spend money, so you better do it all at once instead of doing piece by piece. But that will depend on your budget and um, what you're going to do with the truck as well. So this is all I wanted to show you since the other day I did a video about a truck that got an engine seized and couldn't move, but I didn't show you how it looks like. So today I'm showing you how it looks like when the engine is seized. This is the way you're going to know. So anyway, the engine won't rotate. The bearings will be completely destroyed. And also, the easiest way to notice it is that you have um, metal on your oil filter. Um, I'm going to be replacing the crankshaft on this truck. I want to do a different video about that. I want to have here in this corner over here the link. As soon as I load that video, it's going to be right there. So you can enjoy the video or you can see how this is done just to replace the crankshaft. Of course, to replace the crankshaft, you have to take the whole engine away and all that. But if you want to know what it takes to do that job. So if you have anything to add to this video, use the comment section below and add anything uh, related to this problem or any recommendations, suggestions or anything else that you think that deserves any attention. You can use the comment section below to leave any kind of details. If uh, you want to send any kind of support or contribution to my channel, you can check the video description below where I have details how to send support to my channel so I can continue making helpful videos like I am doing right now so I can help everybody over the road or on their own shops. So like, thank you, subscribe, and thank you for watching.